Hi there, Nico here at Greenspace. Today we're standing amongst some of our larger desert roses. These are about 10 year old plants. Um, this is about one of the times of year when they're most susceptible to rot because here in Zambia when we have our cool dry season between May, June, July, sometimes even into August, um, they don't need nearly as much water as they will during the active growing season when the hot season comes in in September, October and then by the time the rains arrive where we don't have to water whatsoever. So you can see on some of these that we've actually exposed the base of the plants to give a nice view of the swollen stems on some of them and the way that the roots then kind of form interesting um, patterns crisscrossing each other. Um, but the root and the stem is where a lot of that moisture is being stored. And if, there's, if their plants are given too much water at this time of year, they have a greater tendency to rot. And here I've got two examples from oh, a friend's plants who we'd given several years ago, where the gardener, when he was seeing that the plant was dropping its leaves, as would normally be expected at this time of year, thought it was needing more water. So he kept on watering it almost every day, apparently, accordingly. And as you can see here, the large roots um, had basically started to rot away. Now, the plant is not going to completely die with this. If we can cut out the rot and let it dry for a week to two weeks, just in the, in the air, it doesn't have to be in full sun or anything like that. We usually place them in a shady area in a um, space where they're getting fairly good air circulation, the rotted areas will start to dry off, healthy tissue will remain, and then after it's thoroughly dry, it can be repotted and new roots will, will grow. So here, I just wanna show on this other plant where the rot has been, for the most part, removed. And you can see how badly that rot had set in in the central uh, part of the stem. And here you have healthier tissue still. Um, evident because of the firmness of it. But all the rot essentially has to be taken out or else effectively that will eventually travel up into the top of the plant and completely kill it off. Now it is a little unfortunate to have such a, a large plant and that would have been a lovely caudex of the plant brought away, but at least it's not gonna be lost completely. So when clearing out the rot of the plants, you want to follow. Normally what will happen is you'll see the kind of skin, the bark of the, the root um, effectively separate from the area that's rotted and that has to, to come out. And then it'll expose where the actual rot is. So here, I'm going to have to, with a, with a, a knife, go through and essentially, slowly but surely, pull out the different layers of rot within this, this trunk. Getting it back to an area that is healthy tissue. Uh, if you don't do that, the rot will just continue to move through the plant. And, uh, and effectively kill the whole thing off. But you can see it gets quite nasty at times. But at least once this is removed, it will, uh, it will start to heal and it will be able to be planted after a few weeks of drying out. Okay, start. So here we have a smaller desert rose that had the same issue last year. And we did the same thing, we removed um, all the rot, we let it dry, and then we re repotted it. And as you can see, it has now started forming a lot of new roots from areas that had been rotted before. And you can even see the little roots that have formed inside and ev uh, effectively have now re-established this plant in this pot. Um, the caudex will now take on a different and, and sometimes even more interesting shape because of it. Um, but the most important thing is that we have not lost this plant. So here we have that same desert rose. 
with uh, the rot having, the most of the rot actually having been scraped out of it. If you can get a shot from underneath, you can see how far I've taken it all the way back to where we're getting actual solid um, tissue again. Now this isn't, I haven't been able to get all of it out. There's some stringy bits that are uh, holding on and they are a little bit more difficult. But having removed most of the rot, this can now dry. So it'll be left dry for at least a week, if not a little bit more. Um, in which case, that will arrest most of the, the remaining rot that's in there and, uh, and start to callus over. Uh, and from those new callus tissues, new roots will start to form and, and, um, and grow. But it still won't be put into uh, a pot for at least that period of time as it heals. So maybe in, uh, in another little while what we can do is show you when it's repotted and after it started to, to uh, regrow again in that, in that new pot. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you've been inspired to create your own green space. If you'd like to see more content, please follow us on Facebook or subscribe to our channel on YouTube.